Hello, my name is Robert Judd and I'm a director with uh, Lifebelt and I'm here today to show you the function of Lifebelt in the seat. What we have here is a current production front seat from an Australian vehicle. It has the standard anti-submarine feature which is a metal pan uh, under the front of the seat. That pan is some three to four inches below the surface of the foam and requires the foam to be compressed by the occupant during crash to uh, for the occupant to engage with that, that pan. So there's three or four inches of lower pushing down into the seat before the occupant engages with the pan. So this display model is set up as, as per a standard front seat application where the seat belt is built into the B pillar of the vehicle. Uh, to aid with manufacturing of the system, the assembly of the system, uh, we supply, in this case, a delatchable anchor system so that the life belt can be built into the seat by the seat manufacturer and the seatbelt manufacturer makes the seatbelt as per normal and supplies a separate item. In the vehicle manufacturer's plant, the two parts are put together like so and it becomes a full system and operating. So in addition, this seat has had life belt fitted into it and I'll now describe how life belt functions. First, we can engage the tongue in the normal way. With a normal seatbelt system, the lap belt would finish somewhere here, either on the seat or on the, on the uh, bodywork of the car. With the life belt, we continue the lap belt along the side of the seat to the front and then lifting it up, running it across the, under the seat foam to the other side where it's fixed. So this is the fixed point on the left hand side of the seat. And you can see here the red webbing running along, along underneath the uh, seat foam, about one inch below the surface. As I described before, with a normal seat, the occupant needs to compress the seat foam by about three to four inches before they engage with the anti-submarining pan. But with life belt, a simple push at the front of the seat reacts immediately with to tension the lap belt. And in, in doing so, what happens is there's effectively a loop around the, the pelvis. So when the seat moves lower, moves down, the occupant moves down, the lower belt moves with them as does the lap belt because it pulls tighter as they move. So simply described, that's what life belt is. So what we have here is a typical bus seat. And we've just chosen this one for display purposes. Uh, it was chosen because the belt's integrated and it was very easy to modify for the purpose of display and to, and to present our product. So in this seat we've built life belt in exactly the same way as we did with the front seat. Uh, in this case it's a reversed image but, and weak yellow webbing. Uh, but in addition to the life belt, we've added another feature or a little option that we've come up with which we've described as SOS, Small Occupant Safety Enhancement. And that's this clip here which is actually attached to the webbing, life belt webbing running across under the seat surface. Now, we came up with the concept of SOS because when we tested 10-year-old child dummies in standard seats with anti-submarine feature and also with seats modified with life belt, we found that they continued to submarine and this was an area of concern to us. Uh, people in, children in child seats and child restraints are fine. Uh, adults uh, of all sizes are fine. It's that interim level of 10 year old or thereabouts child which are at risk with a normal adult seat belt and hence we came up with the SOS concept. I'll demonstrate SOS as part of the features for life belt. You put the seat belt on in the normal way, and at this point, uh, you have the standard life belt situation uh, with the belt running underneath. But with SOS additionally in the seat, you have the option to engage the lap section of the belt with the uh, life belt in the seat as such, and this creates a uh, crotch strap type situation which is very common in child restraint situations. Uh, this is suitable specifically for small, small occupants and gives guaranteed anti-submarine for picture. And that's what SOS is. I hope you find these videos informative and would welcome the opportunity to provide data or answer questions in the future. Thank you very much.